Welcome my friend, Seven Gray here. Today I'm filming on a different camera. I'm filming on a very, very small little cube. It's my GoPro session. I use this for probably my first 200 videos that I produced on this channel. Today I'm headed to Mexico. Let's roll the intro. I need to have dental uh, care done, and it's much cheaper down there. I was quoted $150 versus $1,000 in Moab, Utah, where I had my initial exam. So today, I've driven from Moab, Utah, all the way down here. Well, actually, it took me three days. But anyway, today I'm here and heading the rest of the way from Deming, New Mexico, down to the border to Palom Palomos, to Plo Palmaros. Um, I have a real tough time remembering and pronouncing words in Spanish. It's a real challenge because I've been trying to learn the language. But anyway, I'm going to cross over the border. I'll write down the name yeah, just below here so you can see where I'm going. And I'm going to take this little camera into Mexico and do a little follow along. A day going to the dentist in Mexico. It's about a 40 minute drive from here down to the border plus time to cross over. I guess it's only two or three blocks to the dentist. I don't have an exact address. I just know that it's like three doors down from a place called the Pink Store. So I should be able to ask for the Pink Store and then travel down to that. But I have a lot of experience with directions like this in my international travel. So no big deal. It doesn't stress me out at all. I'm on the border right now. I don't know, just gotta find a place to park. There's a sign here that says $5 for parking, fill out the information and put it in an envelope, but there's no information to fill out, so I just put my license plate on an envelope, put it in this thing. I don't know what else to do. Headed over the border now, go to the dentist, wish me luck, crossing my fingers it goes well. Biggest border crossing ever. The guy just waved me through, he said, where are you going? I said, to the dentist. You just said go on through to the pink store which i can see it's two blocks from here right in front of me let me show you i believe that's the pink store and four doors down from that is the dentist as la tienda rosa tienda means store rosa is pink so the pink store and supposedly where i'm going is down here just a couple more doors two is called the smiles dental clinic and I don't know much about it except that Cheryl recommended it. Apparently a bunch of the people at a RV park up in New Mexico recommended it. So it should be right around here. And this should be the place right here, Smiles Dental Care. Here I'm inside the waiting room. Here's the receptionist. I just filled out my paper. See, I'm in the dental chair now. She's doing the exam and she confirmed exactly what was told to me in Moab, uh, same thing, and gave me a little bit more, more information about other teeth and things there. So the price is correct, $150, and her English is excellent. It's great service. An interesting day and did not turn out as I expected. She got me in, she did the x-rays, looking at everything, confirmed the cracks and basic diagnosis of the dentist in Moab, but she also pointed out that around the roots of that particular molar, number 19, that there were gaps down there and decay from exposed roots. And it turns out that I need a root canal before I get a crown. So today's Wednesday, I'm coming back in two days and a specialist will be visiting from another city here in Mexico and will be doing a root canal followed by uh, her, the dentist here, this lady doing my uh, crown fitting and then I return one week later for the crown to be installed so anyway that will be three times I'll be in Mexico to deal with this across the border I'm told it takes a little bit longer to get back than it did to get over here of course it was uh, extremely easy to come over it didn't involve anything other than saying hello to the guard basically and telling me telling him why I'm here Coming back across the border was just as easy as going over. I walked through, I was the only person there. Security guard just looked at my passport, asked me if I had any medications. We chatted for a couple minutes because I wanted to, and I just asked him for advice going back through here when I come back on Friday. But super nice, 
took probably 30 seconds, 45 seconds for him to look at the passport and give me permission to pass through. So I'm headed back to the step van. I'm back in the step van again. I guess this is sort of a dental fail here in Mexico, not in the sense that the dentist failed, but it was sort of a failure in the mission to be accomplished today and that uh, setback, maybe that's a better word for this, is uh, just a delay. So I am very, very thankful that you caught this now and that we're going to deal with the root canal now instead of waiting for something to develop and fester and get worse in the future. Not looking forward to having a root canal, but you know, these kinds of things, I just sort of bite the bullet, so to speak, and jump in and try to get things done and uh, just tackle it and try to move forward. Um, it is stressful. Yes, that is true. I think this is the route that I need to go to. Uh, so I'm going to start at the step van, head back into Deming. Need to get some diesel today, uh, head in to get some groceries, and then uh, prepare for another few days. Come back on Friday and um, wait around for another week until the follow up. So uh, the adventure continues. Thank you so much for watching, savor the moment, and I'll see you in the next episode.